Phelps continues for just over 10,000. And he folds face up. Throughout my career, I've had a lot of amazing accomplishments. And here, I'm kind of a new guy. You know, I'm a newbie. So, you know, I think it's cool for me to be able to learn new things and try to grow as a player. He's raised Dylan Horton's flop bat. Probably the best day of Dylan Horton's whole life. And Horton will call. The turn brings the jack of clubs. Potential flush draw just got there. Action goes check, check. Ace of hearts on the river. Horton bets 5,000. Calls the check, raise, and fires the river. It looks pretty strong to me. Oh, well, that explains that Michael Phelps is an alien. I think that was his phone going off. He tables fours, he flops a set, and cracks Horton's kings. The first two pots I've won in like... Hours. <laughs> hours so. Michael Phelps in action once again against Melanie Wisner. She checks the turn, and he bets 3,100. Less than a third of the pot. Phelps three bet this pot before the flop, also bet the flop. Six of clubs on the river completes a potential flush. Melanie checks, Michael bets 6,000. This is three streets of betting from Phelps and a bunch of draws came in. She calls. Small bet. A set of deuces for Phelps. And Melanie mucks. You could have you gotten a lot more. Nice needle. Once again, it's Phelps v. Melanie, the wise Manata Wisner. Your chips, give them to me. Check. Check, check on the river. Just the, just the I'm going to mine. Check back top pair at a crazy dangerous board for top pair. Pretty good. It's like four sets. It's five. another set. It's, five, it's another right? set. Yeah. It's fine. I want to make a joke about how lucky this guy's life is, but honestly, it doesn't sound like luck. Work hard, get good at something, get paid. There is Michael Phelps in the small blind facing a button race. Come on. And he comes over the top of Byron Caverman's open. <laughs> the only thing Michael Phelps has experienced less than losing was his childhood. Caverman gives it up. Michael Phelps wins again. Boy, he really interacts with his fans. What a good guy. <laughs> I told you luck is coming. <laughs> That's actually Bayan Esfandiari, Antonio's dad. Whoa, forget Michael Phelps. Who is that? Her name is Nesseline Cordelie. She's folded. Michael Phelps has raised to 2300 with ace nine. Action on Matt Salzberg in the big blind. 23. The table 23, right? And he's holding 23. Yeah. Michael Jordan, huh? That's right. He's a good player. He is a good player. He's a good hand, too. Oh, come on. <laughs> I should have gone with it. <laughs> I think Jordan's actually here at Atlantis right now. And where there's celebrities, there's always. What's up, Mike? This guy. It's gonna be real awkward if Phelps doesn't know who he is. Welcome to poker, my man. Thanks, buddy. Oh, thank God. The new profession. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't know about that. <laughs> Where are you, right here? Hey, you put up 90. I'm at the secondary table there. One, uh, I won like every pot, but small. All right, well, quit waiting for the award ceremony and get back in there. Look at him, he's like Batman. Oh, Phil. Oh, Phil. Action on the feature table is on Michael Phelps, ace queen. He raises to 2,500. Aaron Massey has ace king suited. That's gonna be bad news. He re-raises, it's a three bet to 6,600. It'll be interesting to see how Phelps responds to this. Action's been folded back around to him. Now, even though we know he's dominated, Phelps might think he has the best hand and he could four bet since he's out of position. If he were to do that, and Massey were to shove, he'd have a tough job getting away from it. 13-4. Well, he does four bet. He re-raises to 13,400. Small four bet now, but small four bets are actually okay. Massey does not ship, he just calls. I think if I have ace-king suited in that spot, I'm gonna stick it in. Don't wanna get blown off your hand on the flop. Which could well happen because it's a nothing flop. Nine, seven, deuce, rainbow. Some players are actually more comfortable calling than jamming on a nothing flop. I'm actually cool with that too. Phelps continues for just over 10,000. Most players are gonna peel at least one street. This bet was only a third of the pot. You've got two overs, backdoor diamonds. Like I said, there's always that shove. 
Massey is the effective stack, playing just shy of 50,000. And he folds, face up! Wowie Kazowie, if that's how he plays his ace-king suit, it's Massey as a masochist. Michael Phelps wins another pot. That's him. Phelps has jack-10 in the cutoff. Even at the poker table, Michael Phelps more comfortable in goggles. He just flats. Kind of a loose call, but we're feeling good, we're comfortable, we've got chips, people are folding to us, why not? Guillaume Rive in the big blind. Also cool, so we're going three-way to the flop. We probably don't have the best hand, but we do have position. I'm a little worried about Eddie, who's an APPT champion. That's a good flop for Phelps. Top pair, plus a backdoor flush draw, plus a backdoor straight draw. I'm less worried now. Everyone checks. Checking just fine there. Not hard to be beat or ahead, but dogging it. Trip tens now for Phelps. I like it. Reve checks a second time. Eddie Sabat going for chips. A delayed continuation bet, 2,100. Eddie could have a hand, but I think he's going to bet his air here an awful lot. Yes. Phelps raises, makes it 5,200. Not sure we wanted to do that. If Eddie's got nothing, we want him to keep betting his nothing and not fold to a raise. Hang on a second. This is getting weird. Reve now re raises. A three bet to 13,000. Well, this play is more insanely strong than the Indian from Cuckoo's Nest. Eddie Sabat will fold, pocket eights. Now it's entirely possible we're beat, but then again, our raise doesn't look particularly strong, so this could be a bluff. I think we should call and reconsider on the river, which by the way, is made of water, so I like our chances. Phelps does call, heads up to the river. Not getting much off this guy. Four of spades. Can't imagine that's changed anything. Gotta be a brick. Now, a lot of what we decide to do here is gonna be based on whether or not Reve bets, and if so, how much. A big bet, say over 30K, I think we fold. Under 30K, I think we call. The bet is 24,000. Yep. I just think we have to make this call. All the flop draws missed. Could be a busted flush. Could be a smaller 10. Phelps calls, and Reve shows sixes for a full house. Gross. And I think this was just a pretty bad cooler. I'm not a huge fan of us raising the turn, and honestly, sixes probably should have bet the turn, but I think it would have taken some major info on your opponent to be able to fold there. Well, that's the first misstep we've seen from Michael Phelps today. He now has a below average stack, just shy of 90,000. Well, Eddie Sabat is 10th on the leaderboard, and he's involved in a hand against Michael Phelps. Eddie limped under the gun. He gibbonsed. Michael Phelps then raises, and Eddie calls the raise, the double gibbons. Wow, the old DG. King, queen, five flop. And Eddie leads for 6,700, Phelps calls. That's a triple gibbons, I think. The turn is a six. Eddie slows down, he checks. Phelps now bets 8,400. And we've seen him do this a lot. This is a really small bet considering the size of this pot. Eddie calls. And the river brings a jack. Action on Eddie. All in. And he shoves. That's enough to put Michael Phelps all in. Massive over bet. That's pretty sick. Clearly a big decision for Phelps. Seems like a bad spot for a bluff considering how strong Mike played it. Though maybe Eddie's just shoving on those tiny bets. Phelps' tournament life on the line. And he calls! Eddie has the nut straight! Phelps had a set! Yep, not a huge surprise. Is that a six of Wow. Well, one pool Mike's not going to be spending any time in is the prize pool. The greatest Olympian of all time, KO'd by Eddie Sabat. An unusual feeling of disappointment for Michael Phelps, but it's fair to say he surpassed everyone's expectations in this event.